Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, I'll be showing you the user design library feature. The user design library feature allows you to designate any Oxygen site as a design set and then install that design set on other Oxygen sites. To get started, let's take a look at how to set up a third party design set on your Oxygen site. First, we need to jump into the WordPress admin panel and go to Oxygen and Settings and go to the Library tab. Here you'll find three checkboxes. The first enables or disables default design sets like Atomic, Conference, and Flight School. The second, and that's the one we're looking for, enables third party design sets when it's checked. So let's check that box and click Update. Now we have an Add Design Set link. Click that. And here's where you'll paste in the third party design set site key, which is generated when an Oxygen install is turned into a design set. So let's paste that in and click Add Source Site. Now you'll see that our new design set shows up in this list. We can also remove it by clicking the Remove link. Let's jump into the Oxygen Builder and take a look at how that shows up in the library. Click the Add button, go to Library, Design Sets, and you'll see your new design set in the list with the existing Oxygen design sets. Third party design sets work exactly like the default design sets that come with Oxygen. Now, let's take a look at setting up your own design set. For this example, I have a simple site set up with one template and one page and some content. And we're going to turn this into a design set that can be used across multiple other Oxygen sites. To do that, first let's jump to the WordPress admin panel. And the first thing we need to do is name our design set. So we'll go to Settings, General. The design set name is the site title that you've given your site. So we'll change this to my design set and go down and save changes. Next, we need to go to Oxygen, Settings, to the Library tab, and we need to check Make this WordPress install a design set and click Update. Now we'll see some new information. The first is our site key. This is a key that must be used on other Oxygen sites in order to install this design set. Next is the URL to the site screenshot. This allows you to designate an image for use as the screenshot of the design set in the Oxygen library. You can also choose a screenshot from the media library or you can use our API to auto-generate a screenshot. Finally, there are some instructions on creating elements for your design set. Let's get started with the block library. Blocks are a new post type that become available when your Oxygen site is designated as a design set. And you can find it under Oxygen Block Library in the WordPress admin panel. So let's jump in there and let's create a new block. Click Add New. And let's name the block and scroll down. Below the normal Oxygen meta box, we'll now see Oxygen Design Set Options. This meta box will appear for pages, templates, and blocks. For blocks, the options we have are to categorize the block, which allows us to designate the category under which this block will appear in the library. For this example, we'll choose Content. And we have a screenshot area which shows us that the screenshots have never been generated and gives us a button to generate screenshots. Since there's nothing in this block yet, we won't generate the screenshots until we're done. So first, let's publish this new block, and then let's edit it with Oxygen to add some content. It's important to note that blocks are a single element. So no matter how many sections you include in your block, it will be inserted as a single design set element. That means that when working with blocks, it's best to treat each block 
as a single section. So for this, we'll click Add, Add a Section. Now we're going to throw in some columns with three columns. And then let's just do a simple pricing box layout. So we'll go to Helpers, and we'll add a pricing box. And we'll duplicate that a couple of times, and then drag these across to the other columns. Great. Let's style the middle one to add some emphasis by going to Advanced Effects and Box Shadow. And let's just add a simple shadow to it. Lower the opacity and then adjust the settings. Just a nice, subtle effect. Perfect. So now we have an element that we'd like to include in our design library. And because we built it inside of a block, it will be included automatically. So let's save this. And now we can jump back to the admin panel and we can generate screenshots. When that completes, you'll see that screenshots were successfully generated. Now click update. And then let's jump back into the builder and we'll take a look at how that block shows up in the library. Click Add, go to Library, Design Sets, and at the top we see My Design Set, which is this site. Open it up, go to Sections and Elements, and under Content, which is where we classify this block to appear, you'll see the Pricing section that we just created. Again, Blocks should each be treated as one individual section because they're treated as a single element in the library. Additionally, blocks are included by default in the library. Now, we can also add elements to the library from our pages and templates. So let's jump over to a page and take a look at how to do that. Here's the page we had already set up and we'd like to include some of these sections, or all of them, in the design library. So let's edit the page and take a look at the design set options. We have a few different checkboxes here in the Oxygen Design Set Options meta box. Include this page in the default setup means that this page will be created when you use the Oxygen Install Wizard to install this design set. The install wizard appears when you first install Oxygen and it gives you the option to choose a design set or use a Blake install. It's also available under Oxygen Home in the WordPress admin panel. The next option is include the sections in this page in the library. If you check this box, then any sections on this page will be included in the library. If the sections aren't categorized, they'll show up under the uncategorized section in the library. For this example, we're going to go ahead and check this box. Finally, we have include this entire page in the library. This will make this page appear under our design set under the pages submenu so that we can insert the entire page in one click. And for this example, we'll go ahead and do that as well. And once that's selected, we get to categorize our page. For this, we're going to choose Home. Now let's update those options. And let's edit with Oxygen. Now that we're in the Builder, we can begin to categorize the sections that are on this page. Again, if we do not categorize them, they will show up in the library under Uncategorized. To categorize them, we need to use the Structure pane. So let's open that up, and let's select our first section. The first step before categorizing any section is to give it a descriptive name. So let's click the Hamburger menu, and choose Rename. And we'll call this Hero with BG Image. Great. Now we'll know what it is by looking at the name in the library. So let's click the hamburger menu, and you'll see a new option down here since this is now a design set, and that's categorize. So let's click that, and now we can choose a category for this section. For this example, we'll choose heroes and titles. 
Now you'll notice that the section turns a gold color when it's categorized. This is to quickly indicate that it's been assigned a category. Now let's go through these other sections and rename and categorize them as well. So section two would be a feature section. So let's rename it and let's categorize it. And section three would be a gallery or images or showcase. So we'll rename it and we'll call it showcase and we'll go to categorize and choose showcase. Finally, section four is a contact section. So we'll rename it contact. And again, if you're going to have multiple contact sections included in the library, it's important to use a very descriptive name. Otherwise, they'll all show up as contact and it might get a little bit confusing. So let's categorize this under contact. And that's it. These sections will now be included under the appropriate categories in the library. Let's take a look at that. Let's save this and reload the builder. Now we'll go to add library design sets, my design set, sections and elements. And you can see we have a couple other categories here. Under content is the block that we created before, but we also have our new section features with icons. We also have the contact element, the hero element, and the showcase element. Now we haven't generated screenshots for these, so they show up with no screenshot. So let's jump back to the admin panel and go ahead and generate some screenshots. So we're going to scroll down to oxygen design set options and click generate screenshots. Great. Now our screenshots are generated. Let's update the page. And finally, let's take a look at how to include sections from a template as well as the design set options that are available for templates. So let's go to oxygen templates and open up main. Now let's scroll down to the oxygen design set options meta box and take a look at the options we have. First, we have include this template in the default setup. If this is checked, this template will be created when the design set is installed from the oxygen installation wizard. Again, that's the wizard that shows up when you first install Oxygen that gives you the choice to install a design set site or start with a blank site. The next checkbox is include the sections in this template in the library. This works the same way as the checkbox on the pages meta box. If this is checked, every section on this template will be included in the library. So let's check that. Finally, we have include this entire template in the library. This allows us to insert the complete template when editing a template. So let's check that. Now we have the screenshot section, which is a little different for templates. We do have the option to set the screenshot from the media library or upload a file. We also have the option to specify a URL for the screenshot. Additionally, we have the Generate Screenshots button. So now that we've set up these options, let's update the template and let's edit it with Oxygen. So in this template, we've only got two sections. We've got the header and the footer. So let's go to the Structure panel and let's select the header and let's go ahead and rename it. Header with Buttons. Now we can go into the hamburger menu and categorize the header under headers. Let's take a look at the footer and we will rename it to footer with columns. And let's categorize that footers. Perfect. Let's save this. And now let's go back to the admin panel and let's generate screenshots. Now that the screenshots are generated, let's go ahead and install this design set on a new Oxygen site. So let's fire up a demo site here. And while that's loading, we'll jump back over to our design set site and we'll go to Oxygen Settings, Library, 
and we're going to grab the site key. Now let's go back to our new oxygen site and go to oxygen settings library and let's enable third party design sets click update and click add design set. Now we just need to insert the site key from our design set and click add source site. Perfect. Now my design set appears. Let's go into a page and let's use some of the assets we just created to set up a page on this new site. Edit with oxygen. Now let's click add library design sets and my design set shows up in the list. So let's click it. And you'll see we have a complete page, which is our home page. And we also can go into sections and elements and all of the elements we just created do show up. So let's add a content section. Let's add a footer. And let's add a header. We've installed our design set on a third party site and we've already begun using the elements we created. That's just how easy it is to set up a design set and use it on another Oxygen site using Oxygen's user design library feature. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and thank you for watching.